Hey guys, what's going on? This is Drew Vido. Welcome back to another episode of the GNA podcast. I am not alone. Of course, I'm always joined here with Soberoni. Now, usually we would open the podcast with a funny quip about who we are, mm-hmm. but apparently everyone and everything is just trying <laughs> to distract me. Yeah. But if you but if you guys were wondering, I was the upskirt in every upskirt shot in every scene in Senran Kagura. And I was the lovely zombie idol. Wow. Very, very I a little bit on I the nose. I was put on the spot. I was a little bit spot. on the nose. You, can, you didn't have spot. to say anything. You <laughs> did, I, didn't have no, I had no expectations for you. I had none whatsoever. I realized Just that Just like that every podcast. Fair. No expectations. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that's basically <laughs> that's our theme. <laughs> the expectations don't have them. Speaking of no expect, no, that's a that's a rude. Oh my, yeah, <laughs> that's mean. Whoa. Okay, let, yeah, let's just get into into slime Yes. AKA, I was reincarnated as a slime. Yep. Episode yep, yep. twelve. Yes. Yes, that one. Did I write any notes for this? Where's the okay? AKA the Gabby Drew episode. The, oh, fucking God. Okay, he transitioned this, from being cute and stupid to just being annoying now. Yeah, and stupid, and, stupid. and being the main reason why everything goes to shit. Yeah. Like, God damn it. Although I feel like this is the element I think that needs to have be to needs to happen in not in this anime, but also Overlord as well. Somebody stupid ruins everything. Like, yes, we need, we need, we, they need a factor X to just fuck everything up. That's true. The yeah. problem is everyone, all of Overlords, so all of um Overlords, all of Ein's subordinates, they're just all fucking smart and strong as shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so no one makes any mistakes because they're all perfect. Yeah, you're right. I think the whole Gabi Do thing is probably gonna. It does make it a spicier setup. It does. <laughs> Cause yeah, now you have like, a whole oh, man to deal with. Yeah, if this, if this was Overlord, give, Gabiru wouldn't have done anything. <laughs> Everyone would have had their forces ready. They would have killed the orcs. Uh, what you call it? Rimuru would have killed Orc Lord. Easy, simple. Mm-hmm. Done. But now it's not the case. What I did like is that Gabiru is actually kind of a competent commander. Like. Mm-hmm. He got he's killing the orcs and he was able to stage the coup and get around all the guards and everything because he knew the layout. So it's not like he's he's stupid, but he's not stupid. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's not like totally incompetent. Yeah, he seems somewhat competent when it comes to battles and war. He's just completely he's just incompetent like, in everything else. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Only when it comes to fighting is he good. Mm-hmm. So that was nice. Um, the whole dryad scene was pretty cool i you know i don't think obviously rimuru was gonna join the battle i don't think he was that was ever a question like yeah. was rimuru gonna be like nah fuck this we'll worry about this some other day yeah no definitely um <laughs> i love how it's like oh the ogre the orcs have this terrifying skill they eat stuff and i'm like oh oh they eat. <laughs> <laughs> I like how they compared it to his skill, like his predator yeah. skill. Like, oh, it's kind of like yours. I thought she was like throwing mad shade at him. She was so shady. She was so <laughs> shady. No, no, no. She, that was even shade towards. Well, that was kind of shady. Well, no, the real shade was when she came and asked, and then the ogre dude was like, "Hey, how dare you ask a such a huge thing? Like, who are you to ask?" And she's like. Well, I was gonna ask the ogres, but uh, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, this bitch coming! I was like, Damn. <laughs> oh my god, he's pretty much. He lost his village. Damn! That, oh my god, this he's is a strategy like, meeting, hurt. not a roast. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I like the dryad now. The dryad. God, cool. ooh, I was like, do not count her bad side. She'll make you cry. What the fuck? Not nice. <laughs> Very not nice dryad, which I like. So, point sir. Oh my god. <laughs> also, I love seeing where the lizard bros come back and they're like, and he's like, clearly that guy was the main 
mm-hmm. he was the actual leader of the village and he just attacked me and beat me and i'm like yeah sure <laughs> i'm like okay it's all part of their plan the um the clear manipulative bad guy who's like manipulating yeah. gabiru is just also really beautiful because I'm like, all right, this guy is clearly evil. You guys are just like, okay yeah. with this dude. You you don't question his motives or anything. No, you don't. You you don't. The shady You're dude. You're so blinded. You know, G- Gabiru has to be chieftain like right this second. <laughs> You're gonna ignore your 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 father who's had decades of like fighting experience. experience. I'm curious yeah. to see how it goes from here. Like, how badly. Uh, Gabiru has to get beat before. Oh the man, show. there's going to be a lot of dead lizards. Just yeah. like Overlord. This, just like this Overlord. This is Overlord season two all over again. <laughs> yep. God, no matter what happens and whatever anime, the lizard people always pay the price. <laughs> Poor lizard people. They always eat more than they can chew. Mm hmm. Well, <sighs> rip lizard people. Other than that, I do have a problem with this show. So, and I was thinking about it earlier. Like, so I praised it before because it wasn't it wasn't too fast paced like it goes at its own pace so it makes compared to something like if you compared this to Index like miles <laughs> apart miles and miles apart in terms of their pacing index I don't understand is, what the hell is going on in Index but Index I understand is perfectly. a five year old who's been drugged with cocaine <laughs> yeah <laughs> this is like this is like a adult who's on fucking super meds it's like slowed down ultra slow but that's kind of a problem too because i don't know i feel like this would be the perfect show to binge watch like if you were binge watching this it'd be amazing yeah but when you're not binge watching it and you're waiting week by week i don't know it kind of to me feels like it's slow as molasses like some stuff happens here and there but for the most part it always ends on kind of like a cliffhangerish note it doesn't yeah. none of the episodes feel satisfying enough to me like i want something big to happen in one of these episodes. Oh, you're gonna get your big <laughs> <laughs> a lot of dead lizards. <laughs> so I'm waiting for that to happen. But other than that, good episode as always. Fun show. Mm-hmm. All right, let's let's move on. Let's not waste any time. Mm-hmm. To... Talking what I assuming is your episode of the week. Oh yes, my as episode well, of the as week. well as mine. Perfect. The I, final episode, of course. Oh, Golden Kamui was so close. It was so mm-hmm. close. It was mm-hmm. so fucking close. We are talking, of course, about Zombie Land Saga episode twelve. Yes. Um. Oh God, where to begin? This episode okay, was amazing. I don't know where to start. You take it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So Sakura for like the like the first half is just literally being stupid. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can't do anything. I don't want to yada yada. No, yada. I couldn't take the tie bullying. How dare you, Sakura? Oh yeah, I, yeah. Oh my god. Dare you. When she was being mean to tie, I was like, okay, bitch, I'm gonna fuck you up now. <laughs> yeah. When she I'm smacked like, the, the thing in the tie's hand. Again. Oh man. You're about to be dead, dead this time, bitch. <laughs> How dare you mess with tie? But seeing Tai, like, first off, I noticed that this episode, even though we didn't get a Yuguri or a Tai episode, this episode it was, was re- heavily, very, focused yeah, on it's those very two. heavy on them, mm-hmm. on both of them. like, in a very great way. Uh, like, I love when Tai went berserk and, like, <laughs> the dragged her ass. <laughs> yes, oh, that's another really great her. thing because it answered two questions. Well, one. One important question I had, which was, how did I learn how to dance so well? And you get to kind of see that Sakura was, like, coaching her this whole time. Yeah. So, oh, I thought that was really cute. The whole interaction between Sakura and Tai and Tai, like, doing the whole one-two clapping thing. Yeah, trying to get trying Sakura to, to dance. Mm-hmm. That was super yeah. adorable. And then and then everyone was reminiscing, like, oh, yeah, <laughs> Sakura, she, you're always this great. You're always there for us, and yada, yada, yada. So great. And then she's just like... Whatever, yeah. I don't care. And then Edie just like slaps her. I'm just like, yes. That was the one to... time her slap was actually warranted. <laughs> yes, it was actually <laughs> it was actually a well timed slap mm-hmm. and it had purpose as opposed to just slapping her. Mm-hmm. Oh, and it was like the best slap. It was like the bitch slap of life. Like yeah, she it was slapped the hardest slap. Like, she slapped bah! whatever life Sakura had left out of her. <laughs> <laughs> 
I loved her line too. Like, we'd rather fail with you than succeed without you. Yeah. yeah that's so and cool. then, and then, I brings up a great point. She's like, "Um, we're all dead. We don't yeah. have great luck. We're already dead." <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, do you think any of us are lucky right now? <laughs> <laughs> we're all dead. <laughs> Oh, yeah, also, I was struck by lightning. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, so that lucky. Is struck by lightning. <laughs> Junko was in a plane crash. That's also pretty un, un like, <laughs> Exactly. It's not something that happens every day. So, uh, Saki, <laughs> Saki literally was, like, driven off, like, on a motorcycle and blew up in a car crash. Mm. A motorcycle crash. Something that also doesn't happen normally. Fucking, Lily. what's her? Lily dies of shock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's like, oh wait, I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna. Lily dies of sh a shock as a child. That's yeah. super unlucky. That, that I don't even think that happens. <laughs> <laughs> and we literally know nothing about Tai. Yeah, nothing about Tai or you, Goody. But or you, Goody. Yeah, it's yeah. fine because they yeah. they work. Yeah, they do. <sighs> so many great ones. This episode was the perfect blending of like, just like drama. It was drama, but it didn't feel oppressive. Then it had really good comedy in between here and there. Yeah. And it had some awesome, like, badass, uplifting moments. Like, the whole ending scene with the the performance was great. <laughs> you mean where the stage literally just collapsed the on them? fucking collapsed. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're like, and the guy's like, no. Keep performing. Like, Don't stop. Keep it going. And I'm like, Hello, <laughs> it's not happen in real life. I'm like, if a state guys, if you go to a concert and a stage collapses on people, do not stay there. To, yeah, don't stay there with your mouth like agape or clapping, encouraging them to go on. No, at that point, like your concert's probably canceled, <laughs> or at the very least, it's going to be moved somewhere else. <laughs> like something's gonna happen. Like, nope, all part of the show. <laughs> Also, I am... Um... Ooh! When they do the flashback that shows that Takano actually knew Sakura when she was alive. Yeah, Whoa. that was huge. There was a couple of huge, like, this, there has to be a season two because they can't there just leave that yeah, as a cliffhanger. Yeah, like, yeah, so they, they knew each the other. Uh, and that explains a lot of why, why Sakura's even there if everyone else is so legendary, but, you know, she isn't. So that explains that part. It explains why he's always partial to her, too. Yeah, she's always he's always been like more towards soccer than anyone else. Mm -hmm. So that explains a hell of a lot. It, it makes me wonder if there's any other connections that they all have together. I don't know, or did he really just build this whole team of idols just for Sakura? Like, oh my, I wanted, I, I really need a season two for this. Oh my god, I feel like it has to be at the end when they're like, when they're like, hmm, these people look the same. Why would they put that there? They would yeah, just exactly. add that there and then cut it off abruptly. Listen, Psy Games, you are like the Google of Japan right now. You have infinite money. You have like fucking 50 grand blue games coming out by major publishers. You have uh, this anime, which is selling extremely well. This better get a season two. It better get a season two. Yes, and you're taking all no my excuses. money from Shadowverse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and you're taking our money from Shadowverse, so you better make the season two. Um, exactly. One thing I really loved about this show in particular, as opposed to a lot of other idol shows, is I really like the dynamic that all of them have. Like, they all feel like there's a, a very realistic feeling to how they've progressed as a group. Like, compared to, like, episode two and how they all interacted yeah. with each other compared to now. Yeah. Like, you could feel their bonds actually growing and their personalities come through. And how they treat yes. each other. Also, nothing about these characters feel like tropish. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, no. Like there's I love nothing... Love Live, but there's a ton of tropes for all the characters. Oh yeah, no. It's, it's what the only reason why I made this my episode of the week. Well, there was the one reason, but there's a second one. I guess they're both kind of intertwined the same thing. Mm. I like this as an idol show more than Love Live. I think I do too. Like, this is better than Love Live. I'm sorry. I hope Flan never watches <laughs> Flan these words. Flan is going to be at your house tomorrow. gets triggered. <laughs> so I'll hell. But this is actually better. And the, and this leads into, like, my true reason why I missed my episode of the week. The actual performance and the choreography was so good. Mm -hmm. Like, this was, like, as good, if not better than Love Live dancing mm -hmm. and performing. That's the other thing. I feel like... Throughout the season, like I don't know if it's intentional or not, but their choreography has actually gotten better, and their music has it gotten did. better. It did, like, <laughs> like I think from 
I think from the light show, maybe. Mm -hmm. Like, that's when I was just like, oh, wait. That's actually really, like, amazing. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Like, they're they're actually doing the damn thing. Ever since, like, the light show. And this episode, they were just... They were on it. And I feel like there's so much attention to detail. Because I know this is something that you wouldn't be looking at. But I, like... All, like, all of them, they don't dance uniformly. Like, oh, if you can have, like, different... Moments, mm-hmm. Where some of them will do their own little, like, movements that are slightly different from the others. And that's, like, a very real, like, idle thing. Like, people, like, they move, whether they move their arms, like, a little differently, or, like, the way they position their hands when you do a move, like, stuff like that, it, it, that's, like, a real human thing. And they show that in the anime. Like, I remember yeah. when Yigiri was singing, her hand was all the extended while the others were bent in. And I'm just like, whoa, wait, what? And that goes to show it's not, like, copy and pasted. Like, their uh, exactly. performances, they actually probably individually model each one. So that's awesome. Uh, this shows so much detail and so much heart. Like, and it doesn't even need that much. It really didn't. No. <laughs> it really didn't. It just wanted, it should have, like, I don't know if there's a, a game coming out for Zombie Land Tiger or something. I assume so, if there's side games promoting it. But... Yeah, I would assume it would have just been like a, a cash grab type of thing, but wait, wait, this is a game. I mean, I'm assuming it's side games that produced oh. it, so I don't know if there's gonna be like a plans for a game for Zombie Land Saga or something. Oh God, it makes so much money. Mm-hmm. But either way, I like it could have just been a a whatever cash grab. Like, look at all our other products. Go buy our stuff. But there was actually a lot of effort and work put into it. And it shows, and it's great, and it's definitely one of the sleeper hits of the year, I think. I I would say so as well. Also, shout to to I. She really, like, these last two episodes, she literally was, like, unwavering in her support for Sakura. Even when Sakura was being, like, a bitch and everything. Mm-hmm. I feel like in the first couple of episodes, if she did that to I, I would be like, okay, go fuck yourself. I don't give two shits about you. Yeah. But... Like, but now, like, even when she's being, Sokka's being mean, I was like, you know what? I believe in you. you. We can do this. Like, unwavering support. Like, that's a total, that's such a total sign of growth from on Ai's part. Yeah. There's so much more. Oh, my God, I love this show. I just love it. Yeah. I'm I'm actually kind of sad it's it's finished. So I'm hoping for a season two beyond. Hope. Yeah, me too. There needs to be a season two. It, it has to be. There has <laughs> to be. They cannot cuck us like that. No. I demand this <laughs> Season two. All right, so let's give our final nine. score nine. I'm nine. also gonna give it a nine. Yep. I think this was probably I don't want to say it was my favorite comedy of the season, but I would say it is one of the most entertaining shows of the season, and it was mm-hmm. definitely the one I think that had like the most heart and like biggest surprise factor. Like I feel like I feel like I. So there's like um I'm not trying to plug anyone by any means, but. Sloane is, uh, she's doing her, like, an- anime awards thing, mm-hmm. and I was, and on Twitter, like, you can vote for whoever you want, and I voted, and I think I put something else over Zombieland Saga, because mm-hmm. there were so many other comedies, there really were, mm-hmm. and now after this, I feel like I, like, oh, shit, I made a mistake, like, I didn't think <laughs> the last episode was gonna be this good. The, the, and it's funny, because this is a year of comedies, like, Hinamatsuri was this year, remember Hinamatsuri? That's what I think. That's why I voted for over this. Yeah, like there's a lot of good comedies this year. <laughs> there are a lot of great solid comedies. Like, oh my god, this is this is so good. It was, it's so good. It's so good because it does comedy and it does idol shit well. Mm-hmm. And it the whole shit with Lily. <laughs> oh, like I'm doing everything in my power to not give it a nine point five. I like, think like, <laughs> there was a few episodes in this season that were straight up just like ten out of ten next level like the first two episodes 10 out of 10 probably some of the best episodes all year the lily episode probably the best episode all year in my opinion of any the what? anime the lily episode like i'm like how how are you a comedy and you introduce the mm-hmm. first like trans like the openly trans like basically she's saying i'm trans and yeah. she's a zombie <laughs> that was fantastic i this was one of my favorite finale episodes of the season probably. oh yes it was so of the year so i it just hits it when it needs to hit the episodes it just it does it stupendously Mm -hmm. 
So, I don't know. I, mm, I'm also tempted to give it a 9.5, but I'll stick with a 9. <laughs> like, uh, like, oh my god, okay. Okay. A alien invasion just occurring outside. Yeah. No, someone's ripping it up. Someone's letting it rip. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we're, we're, we're done with that. I'm looking, I'm like, is MAPPA, did they do uh, Love Live? Like, MAPPA did, um, I know they did a lot of They did things. Idol GN. <laughs> <laughs> this is a <laughs> massive that, improvement right? from Idol GN. <laughs> I do it remember rich. that. It truly go is. Watch, they did Yuri um, on Ice. Go watch episode like 18 of the podcast or whatever when we covered Idol GN. Yikes. Or don't. Yeah, <laughs> it's one of the few shows we dropped. Yes. Uh, yeah, this is a good anime. Yes. All right. All right. From one great episode to another. To another. Oh my god, this is so... Like, this, was, this is really one of the best... Land saga was so amazing. Yeah, this is one of the best seasons, I think, so far. Or, like, one of the best weeks of the season, because there's so yeah. many strong episodes. Yeah. Golden, Golden... Kimberly, episode 11. Uh, yeah. Um... I love how it opens up in Carmat saying, I don't give a fuck about anyone. I'm just trying to get the fuck out of here. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yes. <laughs> I respect that. <laughs> I respect that 100%. She is all of us right now. She's mm -hmm. like, listen, I got, I got my husband with me. I ain't trying to get no fucking gold. It's not worth dying for. Mm -hmm. Bitch, I'm out. Yeah, I'm liking in Carmat more and more as the uh, season goes by. <laughs> I love the whole the the whole um thing with her and Tanagaki trying to get out of the uh, collapsing the breeze. Oh my god, where his buttons just pop. <laughs> his buttons always pop out constantly. <laughs> they always do. <laughs> I love I love the fan service thing. <laughs> it's just unnecessary fan service. It's so great. And like it pops up and like the bun lands on her forehead. Mm -hmm. And then the other guy shows up and picks up uh, the beam for both of them. And then you get, like, this genuine sense, like, oh, my God, he's going to die. Die. And then he's just like, <laughs> nope. <laughs> like, Way to play with emotions. Yeah. I know. I would have been like, I would have been like, <gasps> mm. <laughs> uh, Also, a couple things about surrounding Tsurumi. First of all, what's that shit coming out of his head? I think that's, Are like, that goo happened? that just pops, like, brain juice or whatever. Has that always happened? It's happened or that once just... or twice before, I think, in, like, season one. I don't think it's happened before this season. Yeah, because he just, like, do 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 And you just see all that shit come out. I'm like, ew. Oh, my God, it's so gross. I think it's, like, fluid from his head or something from his wound. Oh. Which is... Which... It kind of makes him even more badass. <laughs> like, it makes him more crazy. I don't know. I just love Surumi so much. Yeah, like, you would think, even though as gr fucking disgusting as that is, like, that was actually great. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Also, uh, Surumi is just a generally, like, he's. What the fuck crazy. does he also have a shotgun? He <laughs> like, that looks like a shotgun that was, like, made in, like, the 60s or 70s. <laughs> Surumi's OP. Surumi also is just a generally good commander like he did a whole surprise attack his whole invasion plan is going perfectly yep he even cooked up less. an excuse for the he answered your question like what are we gonna yeah, do yeah he answered he answered it yeah <laughs> he had a whole answer and i'm i'm impressed mm -hmm. <laughs> i mean locus is the pretty uh that's at first, I heard the locust part, and I'm just like, really? You shot up a fucking prison over some <laughs> goddamn bugs? But then he went into it, and I'm just like, wait, oh my god, the story is a... It's believable. It's like, oh yeah, we were over. already in the area, because we were getting rid of the locust, and there was a prison break, so we came through. Yeah, <laughs> that's totally what happened. But, I love the fact that even though... See, the thing about the show, in a very Tarantino way... Nothing goes as planned, mm -hmm. and just as we and this is as we predicted. Of course, as they are about to surround Naparobo, the Naparobo decoy that they kill. <laughs> <laughs> that was <so laughs> <Not crazy. Robo. laughs> and, then, and then the guy just shoots at him, and he pulls him back like, "Oh, that was close!" And he just looks at the guy with a hole in his head. He's like, "Uh, I'm going to blow his head out." <laughs> And then the other guy uh, ends up freeing all the prisoners, and it's just like a fucking mass riot where everyone's just like 
fighting and mm-hmm. killing each other just and a bunch of faces, different factions. Faces are getting blown apart by a Sumi shotgun. Mm-hmm. Like two scenes. There's like one where like I think he shoots one of like the guards and like just like a like a fountain of blood sprays everywhere. Mm-hmm. And then the other one like just a his face is just like torn apart. Like it just which I'm just like that's so crazy. They make the animation the way they animate it, it literally looks like it's like a t- his face becomes like a torn piece of paper. Yeah, this was a graphic uh, episode. This was <laughs> it was very graphic. <laughs> I'm here for it, but mm-hmm. oh god! Speaking of which, the the Nikaido fight at the end between um, Woo! yeah, that was he still lives. <laughs> He's still alive. He's still alive. He's still alive. Yes. He has no hands now, right? He just got yes. his head chopped off. Yes, yes, head chopped off. Well, I can't wait for his hand to become like a fucking blowtorch or something. Flamethrower. <laughs> it's gonna be a grenade launcher. <laughs> <laughs> this dude's gonna be like ninety percent machine by the end of the series. <laughs> He's actually gonna become the first cyborg mm-hmm. in history. Um. Yeah. A uh, rip the deaf dude. Yeah. Someone who could hear so well, he didn't see that coming, huh? <laughs> He didn't see anything coming because he's blind. Rip him. The uh, Ash Lipa thing was great. I like how they're all just coming together now to see. And the episode, the way it ended, was great too. I'm so hyped for tomorrow. For the next episode. Oh, right. That's coming out for tomorrow. Oh, yeah. God. I actually might watch it. I usually save it for like last or second to last, but I might. I used to do that. I don't know anymore. <laughs> now I'm just like, nope. Can't wait. Gotta watch Golden Kamui. I know. I know I'm going to watch it. Hmm. Hmm. Hina, Hina. I'm gonna miss this show too when it ends. <laughs> Tomorrow's the oh. last episode, right? Yeah. Oh, episodes. fucking hell! Is it really? And it ended like on the, it. It set up a good ending, like the whole um, Noparabo being just there. I like how he was crawling across the ground because they mentioned that they cut his uh, Achilles tendon so he can't walk or something. Oh, he wasn't crawling. He was um, he was using the walking stick. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, great episode. Uh, oh my god! The knife do face catch. What is with people stabbing him? Oh yeah, and, that like, was, I can't teeth. watch these fights because I actually felt that my cheeks started hurting for a good five minutes. And I was like, oh, my cheeks. <laughs> he, caught it, he caught it in his mouth but it went out of his cheeks. I'm just like, <laughs> your mouth is just going to turn to nothing. I've noticed point. that Sugimoto every episode... He gets hurt some way, really badly. Like, he gets shot, stabbed, mm-hmm. tortured, and he always just comes true. This time, like, his... Isn't it like his Achilles heel got literally, like, fucking shot off? Yeah. <laughs> in addition to being stabbed in the mouth again. Mm-hmm. Man. This show is great. It is. I kind of want to see... I kind of do want to see the fight between Hitikata and Indo. The, the warden. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> well, shall right. we move on? Yeah. Alright. Next up, we have Goblin Slayer Episode 11. <sighs> okay, guys, I'm just warning you from, from here on out, I'm going to be a little low energy because <laughs> I feel like I just put so much hype and love into talking about these last two anime that mm-hmm. now I'm just like exhausted a little. <laughs> Well, I'm hyped for this episode of Goblin Slayer because it was actually No, wait, this is also really good. I told you, there was a lot of really good episodes this week. A lot of them. Um, This episode of Goblin Slayer was great. Uh, The whole... I I actually forgot that they left off on the cliffhanger of all those goblin tracks being outside the village. Yeah. Me too. It was great. I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. And then it picked up with that. The dramatic scene in the beginning was actually surprisingly good. Yeah, good. It was really good. Oh, Goblin Slayer actually showed. You heard the uh, emotion in his voice, which they're doing a good job of. Like, even though he's kind of monot- like monotone and serious a lot of the time, whenever he does have these moments, you can kind of hear the distress in his voice sometimes, or like the shakiness a bit, or his like pause. Like he'll he'll have like long pause. I think even the cowgirl says it. She's like, oh, whenever you don't know what to say, you do like these long pauses. 
Yeah, exactly. And when he when he said, "Please don't make that face," oh, mm-hmm. oh, that hit me right in the feels. I was mm-hmm. like, she's like crying, but like happy. She's like, "Please don't make that face." Oh, uh, oh, I love that. Oh, that scene. Ooh, even now I think about it. It's like is it very. Rom- it was very romantic. Yeah, yeah, I would say so. In a weird kind of in a weird, yeah, in a very way. weird way. It was it was kind of romantic, which is why I was like, "Ooh, that made me blush." The <sighs> guild scene with the whole uh, him asking for help and them being at first, I was kind of really pissed. I was like, "All right, you guys can't be dicks and be like, oh, we're not going to help you because we're fucking goblins and stuff." But I'm glad Lancer ended up being a bro. Thank you, yeah. Lancer, for being a bro. Yeah, Even in you, another anime, Lancer. you're a bro. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, uh, and then the gold master was like, eh, <laughs> we don't want, like, to die horribly <laughs> because we were too, uh, we, were, we thought we were too good to kill some goblins, so, mm-hmm. yeah, that I, I kind of like how everyone came through, like, everyone had their moment, of, even the guild girl was like, I got a surprise quest for everyone, kill one goblin, get one gold, or whatever. So, like, everyone yes. used their abilities to come through the clutch. Exactly. And, of course, the last half with the actual fighting was really well done. Yeah, everyone was just getting fucked the fuck up. I like the emphasis, which I like in general for this series, is that it's not just fighting. There's, like, a huge emphasis on strategy and Very sh- ambushes mm, and yeah. stuff. Yeah. And that was great, seeing, like, the, the wolves get skewered by the pikes. Yo, fucking Lizard Man was too nice this episode. <laughs> Yo, oh my god. When the wolf gets, like, when they get um impaled, he like comes with swiftness, chops up the wolf's head, and chops up the goblin mm-hmm. in like one second. Mm-hmm. Like, you just see both their heads just go, <laughs> and I'm like, wait, what? I had to see it like two more times. It was so cool. He's so dope. Mm-hmm. I kind of see maybe they took a break for one week because they knew this episode was kind of be a. Uh... So intensive. Like, I can't imagine this was an easy-to-animate episode. There was so much action yeah. in the second half. They really were. And then, like, the assholes. I love how they killed off the assholes who were, like, saying no at first. Mm-hmm. Good. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> like, anyone else would kind of suck. But those two, we don't care about those two. I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm glad they, you did. Uh... For as much as people give Goblin Slayer shit for being like, oh, it's all about shock value and rape and this is blah, 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 blah. I mean, they they did it at first, but, like, for example, yeah, in this episode, it's stopped. not like yeah. there was rape in this episode, or, like, they didn't kill off any major characters for the shock of it. So, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not, it's, trust me, I read tons of manga that are stupid shock value bullshit. This isn't one of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> you mean we? <laughs> There's a clear differentiation between this and Dead Tube. <laughs> <laughs> or this in Osama game. Or this in Osama game. <laughs> uh, God. This is, yeah, this is a really good episode. And then, oh, at the end, where Goblin Slayer just, like, comes out of the shadows to, and to mm-hmm. like, encounter the Goblin Lord. Or confront the Goblin Lord. Yeah, well, as he's running away. I'm kind of yeah. curious to see what interesting power the Goblin Lord has. Like, he can't just be smart. Like, he has to have magic or something. Maybe he's just a really good fighter. It's gonna be like Maybe. a really good. He's like a martial fight. artist or something. That'd be dope. Or just yeah, really good with his axe. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, yes. Looking forward to next week. So, yes. so on two. <laughs> two, two. I don't know. Index episode twelve, the second episode that we're mentioning that <laughs> includes a coup done by a family member. <laughs> Yeah, the continuation of Mordred's coup. Yep, Mordred executes the coup. You know, <laughs> the witches <laughs> and knights fight each other mm-hmm. in a very Star Wars meets Harry Potter. I was like, am I watching scenario. Strike Witches or something? <laughs> yeah, like Strike Witches. Uh, the nuns just make their escape. Um... Morgan apparently was just like, oh my god, please, please let my mom show some type of resistance so you can just fucking kill her. Mm-hmm. Morgan, <laughs> Morgan are you trying to say Morgan's not nice? Yeah, Mor- yeah Morgan's <laughs> literally just trying to kill, like, her whole, like, she's out here trying to kill her whole family. She's like, yeah, I kind of need to 
have the right to use a sword, so everyone has to die now. And I'm like, right, your sister's younger than you. Why do you have to kill her too? That was that was kind of mean. <laughs> I'm glad that uh, of course we had a returning person in Aqua making his appearance again. And Sherry. Mm-hmm. Sherry just going crazy with the goals. Yeah, ah, I, I forgot about her completely. Now. They were just, I love how Chihuahua just throws people in there. Like, oh, yeah, she's she's back. Just throw her in there. She gets the golems again. It feels like I'm playing an RPG, and you know sometimes they'll put like a boss rush at the end of like all the old bosses come back. It's like mm-hmm. this. That's this arc. All the old <laughs> people are just coming back for no fucking reason. Word. I literally only remember Cherry because she was like a black girl, and I just remembered me getting angry because he's like. Punching the shadow of a black woman. I was like, err. <laughs> to be fair, he punches the shadow of all women. He does. <laughs> He's a, he I feel like, now body. that I think about it, I feel like they deliberately make him fight women all the time just so he can punch the shadow of women. I think there's something that the author has against women. Yeah, I think he kind of hates women. Shame on you. Stop punching women. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, as you said, Aqua does return as well. I mean, <laughs> but before we mention aqua uh let's put some f's in the chat for kanzaki yeah kanzaki i actually forgot kanzaki was in this episode because she exactly, just, showed, cause got she just showed up to get fucked up and leave. he's like oh we're basically this is like hollowed land for us because we have magic and science and england's great and we drink a lot of tea so therefore mm. as long as i'm on this place i love how that's a, a rule now because we're say- english we're uh, fucking invincible in england what when was this established <laughs> Does this like, apply to everyone? What? Why does it only apply to you? Does that mean the queen is invincible in England? Why doesn't she fight? Like, like the knight, like the king. It always says the king is an archangel, and and all the knights are knights angels. are angels. Yeah. So then, are the other grunt knights as strong as him? Because they're knights. They are, but I feel like they're isn't not Aqua as a knight? I feel like ah uh, no, he is not a knight. Is... Well, what if the other princess knights him on the spot? Then does he become fucking Superman? I feel like he has to, they have to do something supernatural, like, I don't know, like a blood sacrifice or inject him with, like, angel steroids or some shit. <laughs> Explain your rules to me, too, Aru. I must know. <laughs> no, oh, please. <laughs> Explain it where. I have, to be, be, here all I have day. to be ready for the final. <laughs> oh, God. And I feel like, I feel like, well, I thought they're gonna fight the, the uh, aqua, they're gonna fight the aqua and other night fight. Mm-hmm. I thought they were gonna do that, but they, they did, but they didn't. Like, they show. Hmm. I would like to see just like a little bit more, but yeah, but it's fine. No time for that. They gotta jump around fifteen more places. Exactly. I did like the the whole Toma thing with uh, him running into one of those other girls and <laughs> jumping off the train into the lake and there's like it's only one meter deep, the water. Yeah, yeah. I think that was the. Uh, I feel like that was like one of the very few scenes with Toma. This is very not a Toma heavy episode. No, it's not. Oh, the other great scenes were the uh, the queen and the um, other girl, the blonde girl. Oh my god, yes, I was just about to mention that. They try hitchhiking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the, I love how the driver literally just makes a completely <laughs> U turn. <laughs> I'm like, do you not recognize your queen? Like, Maybe he does, and that's why he turned away. <laughs> um, hello, I would not. What if Trump was at the side of the road? I would not turn around, excuse me. <laughs> To be I would fair, the queen, going. the queen. The <laughs> queen. <laughs> I love the, the queen. Um, first of all, I love the queen in general. Like I, as much shit as I give Chuaru, I they make really fun characters. Like the they queen do. is She's really, really, really awesome. The whole thing at the end with her, where her getting the horse, and then the other girls like, I don't know how to ride a horse. And he's like, Oh, fuck you! You're screwed. Yeah, but <laughs> bye. <laughs> I love how, like, it was funny how, like, uh, William put, uh, the, the third princess, he puts her on, like, a mechanized horse and is just like, yeah. Mm-hmm. The horse is like, I'm a pony. <laughs> and just Pro gallops man. away. 
There was God. just so much. Somebody, I, I forget if it was in a comment I read or if it was somebody on Discord, said that the Index Season 3 is just like a highlight reel of the novels. <laughs> and I'm like, that's pretty true. It is just a highlight reel of the light novel, I'm pretty sure. I haven't read the light novel, but I would assume I that it that. makes way more sense in the novel and that the anime is just being like, what are the <laughs> highlights of these? <laughs> First of all, I feel like that's true for like most anime that's been adapted by novels. I think so too, like, but like this is even more true for too long <laughs> than anything like, else. Which, I wonder which one is more like just skimming this or umineko oh well, umineko was definitely just skimming because umineko was like <laughs> i don't know what they were smoking like hey you know what you know there was a video i forget i was watching some video on umineko that was like the all the books of umineko are twice as long as all the harry potter books put together or something like that it's some ridiculous amount i'm like you think you could cram four of the episodes of umineko into the 24 anime a 24 episode anime I don't know. That's like crazy. I'm like I think That's you needed like one. I feel like you need 24 episodes just for like the first two arcs. Oh yeah, just for the like, first two, you would easily need 24, maybe 26. I'd, yeah, word. Like maybe, yeah, I would even say 26. There's a lot of shit. <laughs> first off, then you would need to have whole episodes of them not doing shit because those are important too. The what? You would need to have like whole episodes of them not doing shit except walking around the beach because those take up a good amount of chapters as well. In the books, <laughs> they do. My God. But yeah, bottom line is, uh, you need a need more time to work with these adaptations. Yeah, more time, like literally more episodes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. <sighs> okay. Next we have Takere Tai, episode six. Six. By six, I mean twelve. <laughs> I don't know why I said six. Like, whoop, time to go back to the past. No, I think I said six because I'm like, this is the sixth one in my mind. Mm. Why is it the sixth it. one? Oh, the like sixth show. Sixth yeah, yeah, sixth show. Where, yeah. Um, everybody knows for that good tie. Oh, it's the first one I see. I saw. I called it, by the way. Uh, you did. What did I say? Well, I said that Chunta was definitely up to something because it's not in his character to be, like, all submissive and be like, oh, I guess we just gotta bow to the whims of this random paparazzi dude. And you were like, well, maybe he's just doing it because he loves Takuto so much. Yeah. I mean, technically we were both right. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'd sniff that shit. I'm like, there's no way. He was, he was definitely up to something. He's gonna blow up the whole organization, the whole company or the magazine company or whatever you, know, all, you thought he was gonna come in and literally kill everyone <laughs> close like, enough he might as well have yeah he kind of effectively retired <laughs> the magazine. he killed all their careers <laughs> yeah basically um but yeah takato missing june so that was so sweet i was like oh it was very it's lots of feels this episode <laughs> He did a good job of uh, maintaining the uh, romance element. Like, yeah, I felt a good amount of, aw, that's cute. Especially with the wedding rings. Oh my god, yeah, that was too, that was too precious. There was a lot uh, of good moments like that. Uh, and when Saijo comes to pick up Junta. Mm-hmm. And then... Um, when they were, like, going back and forth, like, having a whole argument, and I think, is it Saito who sends it, where he says, like, you're everything to me? I and I'm think, just like, yeah, he does. I'm just like, whoa. I was like, that, I was like, ooh. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh my god, I feel like I'm watching Lifetime. <laughs> We've come a long way since that first episode. Oh, let's not talk about that. Back <laughs> 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 to romance. <laughs> Uh oh. Also, I have a question. Where the fuck did Junta get the equipment to just engrave a ring? I don't know. I'm like, you know, it's not just like a five seconds, like <laughs> write some stuff on the ring, da da da. Like, no, like a professional has to like do that. Like, you yeah. have to have a whole setup that costs <laughs> a couple of hundred of dollars <laughs> and equipment and like the know-how. You really have to be like a jeweler. 
I felt like that was like a silly Looney Tunes esque moment where it's like, it really was. You're right it was back. So, it was so out of place. Like what the fuck? <laughs> like you hear like the the cartoon noises like thunk, 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 yeah thunk. yeah. <laughs> oh, I got it engraved. I'm like, wait, what? What? No. no. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why they felt the need to do that. They could have just like cut to like them yeah. going to a jeweler, mm-hmm. like a separate scene or something. Whatever. Yeah, it, it was just. I'm. I'm not mad. I was just. It was just funny, if anything. Um. So I thought this was gonna be the last episode, especially though how the way they ended things. Mm-hmm. I didn't know it was thirteen episodes because everything was all nice and sweet. Yeah. And then of course right at like, the and then at the end where that guy just gets his head like grabbed by the other dude. Mm-hmm. The other dude's like, "I'm back, bitch," and I'm like, <laughs> "Yikes." <laughs> But also at the same time, I'm like, if you're about to introduce an antagonist, why the last episode? It's like, funny because I actually was going to say, wow, this wrapped up really nicely. But yeah, then they had right, to push me too. And then there was like another no. episode. Like, yeah, you thought <laughs> you thought too highly of this show. We're going to introduce <laughs> a new bad guy and end it as soon as he's introduced. And then, like, oh, they're going to wrap up a whole arc next episode. This literally reminds me of Citrus. This is actually like citrus. It does though. remind me of citrus. This is like the the Shonen Eye version of citrus. <laughs> it really is. Except, oh my god, no, it's just as rapey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh man, we've come oh, to a god. harsh realization, haven't we? <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh, oh. oh no. Oh. Uh, I have nothing else to say. I don't either. So I guess we realized I, something today, guys. <laughs> I'm, I, no, I'm actually speechless. Let's just... Move I'm on. actually ready to move on. I, nope. All right. With that, we're moving on to the last show of this week. Senran Kagura episode 11. This was actually surprisingly a uh, very good episode, in my opinion. The whole fight between Yumi and uh, Fubuki was great. Actually, like Citrus, what the fuck? Okay, I'm <laughs> back to back, back to the podcast. I'm, oh my god, my mind. Whoo, I'm okay. Um, right, Senran Kagura. Good episode. I appreciate the flashback because it's very informational. By the way, someone called it in our comments. I think it was like Toronto King had said he th- he called the uh, Fubuki's father stealing. Her mother. Um, yeah. I mean, that didn't surprise me. What surprised me is that it killed him. I'm like, hello. I'm like, meanwhile, meanwhile, Asuka <laughs> is like stealing everyone and their mamas. <laughs> well, maybe and he's he, like, he I'm needs stealing to... one demon. <laughs> he needs <laughs> like, to get on Asuka's level. Where, like, how are you a weaker, shittier ninja than Asuka? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> not saying that Asuka's weak it's just like you're a whole ass grown ass man it's like, it's like experience I just don't get the uh, like I get why Fubuki's angry at ninjas but like yeah like you're you're <laughs> um mm, I don't know I feel like in a way I understand cause because of the whole ninja bullshit that's happening mm. like she lost her mom and dad to it. Like, do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I guess to her, her mom might as well be dead because she can never see her again. But if it was my, like, it was something that they both were working towards, I'm guessing, like, in my opinion, if it was me, I'd try to, like, upend the system and be like, all right, you're both wrong as opposed to siding just with Yoma and being like, the ninjas are wrong. Yeah. Because I'm, like, yeah, Yoma's still out here, like, killing people. Yeah, like, Yoma's still day. fucking up. And also, yeah, like, his, her mom was totally on board with this idea. So, I don't know. In any case, it, it was needed for the dramatic action, and we got yeah. a lot of that, and it paid off. I loved the opening scene with um, my girl, Katsuragi, and her brilliant plan to attract all the Yoma. <laughs> that was funny. With her excellent taste. Yes, I appreciate her using R- Riona. Mm-hmm. Uh, Riona's got a lot of screen time this this season. I feel like she's she's like very prominently featured. 
Oh, I wouldn't know because I haven't seen last season, so... <laughs> Generally speaking, she's like a side, side, side character, so I'm glad she's getting love. Yeah, I guess I am glad as well. Um, <laughs> let's see. Anything else that happened? Oh yeah, Asuka's like <laughs> almost dead. Mm-hmm. I'm stealing all those... <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Do you think she'll die? No. I'd be really sad if she died. Also, I don't think that's this type of show. <laughs> would, would it, would, but wouldn't that be like such an amazing plot twist? I don't. It would be an interesting plot twist, but I can't see that happening. Like in any stretch of my imagination. Yeah. I feel I like what just... is going to happen is Fubuki's going to be like super secret hidden ninja technique, or I take all the pain that so- that Asuka was feeling and put it on myself or something, and like heal Asuka miraculously. And now I'm dying. And now I'm dying. Yeah, something like that's going to happen. Either way, I know Fubuki's going to have a change of heart and save Asuka somehow. Yeah, she is. Because because it it showed that her resolve was weakening this episode. Mm Mm-hmm. I love the... the, the They did this before, too, but I love the transitions between the flashbacks and present time, and then it keeps showing, like, the moments with Yumi and Fubuki when they were kids, and it's being mimicked in the present yeah. like there was one scene where yumi where fubuki flips yumi over and then helps her up and then it switches to the present while they're fighting and the same exact thing happens where fubuki flips her over but she doesn't help her up so it kind of just looks at her all sneering and shit mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah yeah like i think it's yeah there's a good use of flashbacks this episode good overall job of setting up an arc i liked it yeah, it's setting up it's setting up the end really well. Yes. And we'll be ending it next week, along with several other shows. A lot of shows are ending. Uh, Basically, I everything, think... Everything, I think. Everything's ending, except for week. the ones that are continuing into next season. Mm-hmm. Well, if you guys enjoyed this episode of GNA Podcast, make sure you hit that like button. And if you really enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe so you can stay up to date. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, on Twitch, and you join the party at our Discord. And if you really want to go the extra mile, you can donate to us on Patreon, like all these lovely patrons up here who make this wonderful show possible. Drew, anything you would like to add? I'm still here like, wow. Two animes where both of them have gay couples and they are literally mirrors of each other. I wonder if they're the same writer or something. Fucking insane. Probably like the writers knew each other. Probably not. <laughs> no. Well, one thing I do want to add is that we have a winter 2019 anime preview going up. So make sure you keep your eyes peeled for that. If it's not up already, if it is, it'll be linked in the description and the end card of this video. So make sure you check that up so you know what the great anime are going to be airing next season. And more importantly, what anime we'll be covering in our podcast next season. And yeah, I think that's about it. So until yep. next week, this has been Soberoni and Doobie Doo. We'll catch you guys next week. Later. Bye.